and I'm going to be taking you on a virtual Google Classroom tour. Um, so when you log into Google Classroom, this is what you'll probably see. I'm logged in as Alyssa right now, and you might see your different classes that you're in. Um, most of you will be in more than one class, and the classes might change once you start fifth grade. Um, but here is our class, 5101 Miss Shame. So whenever you log in, I want you to first go into our class. And I know that you guys are already experts in Google Classroom, but I just want to show you a little tips and tricks um, for Google Classroom. So when you log in, over here up on the left are three lines. Um, and this will take you to different things. So one thing it might take you to is your to-do list. So this is from all your classes and is all your work, but you could also go to just our class and then it has um, some upcoming assignments. You can also switch from to do to what you've done. Um, and that's also a way that you can see some of your grades. So once I grade some of your assignments online, if you go to done, you'll be able to see your grades. Um, so let's go back into the class. You click on, I'll show you that again. You click on the three lines and go back into our class. Here's some other things that you might wanna know. Over here, um, it says upcoming and it tells you what's, what's coming up, what's gonna be due. And so we'll have the first few things. So we have attendance is due. We have an assignment, what is community? You'll find out more about that um, pretty soon. And you can also click view all and it'll tell you everything that's coming up. Um, so here are all the assignments. Then you can filter it. You can say, what are my assigned assignments? Those means you haven't done it yet. What are my returned assignments? So ones that have been returned back to me and they probably have a grade on it. And what are my missing assignments? Um, so that's a good tool for if you wanna make up some of your work and make sure you don't have any missing assignments. That's how you can check what you have missing. All right, let's go back. Um, so if you go into classwork, so here's stream, classwork. Um, this is just another way to check your work. Um, this is very similar, but you can click view your work and that takes you to that same page that I just showed you. Here's some other important things. Um, if you go to classwork again and you go click on Google Calendar, Google Calendar is really important. That'll tell you when meetings are scheduled, That'll tell you when things are due. So as you can see, we have morning meeting every day this week at 10 a.m. And that's in our calendar. And if you want, you could click on it. And that's another way that you could join the meeting. You could press join with Google Meet. Um, it, it also says when assignments are due. So the assignment, what is community? That's due at this time at one o'clock. Um, and it'll tell us that afternoon meeting is here. So that's another way you can join our meeting. All right, so I'm gonna go back. This time I'm just gonna click back into this tab and go back to the stream. So up here I can click back and forth between stream and classwork. Um, so every day this is what you're gonna see. I'm gonna post up the slides for the day. So I'll say good morning. Um, here are the slides for today, and you'll know it's the right day by having today's date. So today is Monday, June 22nd. So that here are our slides. And this is our virtual classroom. And I'm gonna click present so I can see it nice and big. This is something else you can do. So even on this front page, um, there's a lot of things you can click on. There's me dancing, I love to dance. Um, and It'll have today's date. Um, some important things. You can click on the chair, this little maroon beanbag chair. Click on that, and that will take you every single day. That'll take you to the daily attendance, okay? And that's where you can put your daily attendance. Today's is what are you most excited for in fifth grade? And you need to leave a comment. Once you leave a comment, that's how I'm going to know that you're here today. 
Of course, you still have to do the rest of the classwork. And if you only do the attendance question and not the rest of your classwork, I probably won't mark you present that day. But you do need to do the attendance question. Um, what are some other things? We can, um, it says click here for the daily agenda. All right, let me click here. And that takes me straight to the daily agenda. And here's our daily agenda. Number one, morning meeting at 10 a.m. Um, you guys are already here, so thank you. And you can click the link. What is community? This is gonna be an assignment that we have today that I'm gonna explain in a bit. Um, and it says click here. You can click here and that will take you to the assignment. The assignment in Google Classroom. You can read the assignment, go to student work, I'm going to go back to the slides, see how I go back and forth with the tabs. Um, I'm going to go back. Here's our first page. If you see this bookshelf over here, if I click this bookshelf, that's going to take me to the second slide. Here's our UCLA library. Here's our UCLA library and you know, there's different features in here too. So as you might see up here, are a lot of the online reading sites that we're going to be reading on. So if you want my aunt, there's the link, Scholastic, Epic, Storyline, iReady. iReady will use for reading and math. If you click on this globe, it'll take you to News ELA, News Ella, um, and that has some awesome news articles. And there's some other hidden things in here too. All these books are connected to a read aloud on YouTube. Um, so Nation of Hope is a great book. These are all books that um, fifth graders love. Wonder, Maniac McGee, Front Desk. Some of them we might read in class together. Some we might not. 14 Cows for America. If you click on this boom box, it'll take you to um, a music that I like, some calming music that you could play as you're doing some work. If you click on the light bulb here, that'll take you to Wonderopolis. Wonderopolis is a really cool site. It has a lot of interesting things to do on here and we'll explore that more. But that's a shortcut you can always use to get there. And here you can go to National Geographic by clicking on that plant. National Geographic has so many cool science articles and once we start doing RTI Genius Hour, you can use some of these articles for your reading. And then here, I also have a link to some meditation and some mindfulness, which can help keep you calm, help you stay focused. I'm gonna X out of that for now. All right, so that is our Google Classroom. And I think that's all that I'm gonna take you on today. Actually, just kidding, I'm gonna show you about two more things. So let me go back into the classroom. Um, also, if you go to classwork, here will be all the topics. So it's not just attendance, there are other topics. Let me restart this, sorry. So it will have all the topics. I'm not sure why in this moment it's only showing attendance. Maybe that's because that's the only one that there's a, an assignment in right now. But there are lots of topics like math review, math workshop, reading workshop, RTI. So that's where you can see all the topics. And another important thing is if you go to these nine boxes, that's a shortcut to a whole bunch of things. You can get into your calendar that way. But most importantly, I want you to look at this Gmail. So you go to Gmail and I don't really want to show Alyssa's email, but that's how you can check your email loading. I'll let it show for one second. So you can see that I've emailed you a couple things. So sometimes you might um, get emails and that's how you check it. So once again, you go to these nine boxes, you press Gmail. Um, all right. Well, I hope that helps that you learn your way around Google Classroom. Maybe you learned something new and I'll see you in Google Classroom.